<laughs> Can you sit up there when we try one more time? Yeah. Oh, okay. Joey, stay. <laughs> stay. Stay. Never work with animals or children. <laughs> show where each week we explore one film chat with one guest and hear from one sponsor we are your hosts my name is mitchell lyon i am anise friesen in the barn we have smith's cloud and today's guest is joe horacek what's up guys how's it going joe is from lincoln nebraska and he has a company called little mountain print shop and we'll talk about that here in a little bit but first we're going to begin our discussion today by talking about Joe versus the Volcano. Which was released in 1990, and this is a romantic comedy. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Open to mixed critical reviews, but was a box office success, and now is considered a cult classic. Once upon a time, in the middle of a deep, dark factory, an average Joe, Joe Banks, lived a very boring life. Good morning, Dee Dee. Hi, Joe. What's with the shoe? Losing my soul. Yeah. Until one day, he found out his life was over. I'm not sick except for this terminal disease. That's right. You have some time left, Mr. Banks. Live it well. All right. <laughs> Joe versus the Volcano. <laughs> Let's discuss. Over some peanuts. <laughs> Pick one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you should watch Joe vs. the Volcano. If, like us, you're into Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, or fairy tales, or contemplating the ideas of courage and death. Agreed. Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Anise, what do you think about those two? A lot of things. At the moment, you scared me a little bit. Me? <laughs> yeah. Why should I scare you? I don't know. Together for the first time, because after this they did Sleeps in Seattle, and then they did You've Got Mail. So they love working together. Um, I love the three and three of Meg Ryan. First one, her scared character. Um, just the really big eyes and just very timid and scared. And the next one, you have the L.A. one where she's... A Fliberty gibbet. And then <laughs> you have the last one, which is more of herself, which is we all. So we Who we all have come to know and love. Yes. Right. Joe, do you have any uh, uh, Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan thoughts? <laughs> um, yeah. Dude, I've never seen this movie before. Uh, and so it was a pleasant surprise, to say the least. Nice. It was good. Do you have, I, we may have been texting last night. Yes. And I'm showing your cards a little bit, but do you have feelings for Meg Ryan? <sighs> You're making me blush. <laughs> yes, I do. A little bit. Dee Dee. Yeah. How about dinner tonight? Yeah, okay. Wow. What a change. Well, then the idea of, of fairy tales. I love... The opening slide um, in the film is once upon a time there was a man or a guy named Joe. Yeah. Um, how did how does this fairy tale theme come through for you? Well, then you see the next shot, which is when he's walking through the muck and the mire, and then there's a flower that comes up. So it's kind of the possibilities and the hope of something, you know, growing in Joe to make him want to do more. Um, which is in almost in every fairy tale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and I love uh, this is this is very obvious throughout, but the crooked road that we see right from the beginning, we get the the people marching into the factory, and then we get it on his living room wall. Yeah. Um, we get the lightning strike of the boat, and hiking up the mountain, 
Um, so I mean, it again very on the nose. The idea of 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 a of a trek of an adventure that is not a straight line. Kind of resembles the uh, probe. <laughs> the rectal probe. I, rectal I probe. Up the big woo. <laughs> I do love the rectal probe. I love seven hundred thousand satisfied customers. <laughs> and there's a number there still. They right. know we're getting to a million. Right. And this this probe is not stopping. <laughs> Joe, have you ever had a job this bad? Uh, maybe not that bad. I mean, maybe the coffee was probably just as bad, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he sips through it and yeah. it just doesn't break apart. It's chunky. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's probably cold. I'm not arguing that with you. I am not arguing that with you. I also love the um, artificial testicles prototype that Joe's boss has on his desk. And I just love the idea that this boss of his literally has Joe by the balls. Yeah. So to speak. <laughs> yeah. And he works at a place, the rectal probe factory. So he's kind of taking Dang. in the rear. Yeah. Every day. Every day. And again, such an exaggerated way to say these things <laughs> of like how low can he be to start right. this journey. Yeah. But. You, you, it already feels surreal when you're looking at, at his work. You know, right. it's over the top already, but then this brings in like this magical element yeah. that uh, for me really surged the fairy tale idea even even more at this moment. I, I agree. When you see when you see Joe's character grow, the color almost starts to come like back into his life. You see the gray and it's dismal mm -hmm. and then when he starts taking charge of his life, color starts to come in and he starts to take charge and just goes forward and yeah. doesn't look back basically. And yeah. it starts in the office when he has the light or that lamp that his boss makes him get rid of, but which is you'll see the volcano coming up and yeah. all these things are getting ready to happen next. The final theme that I think we spend some time on is the idea of courage and death. Um, Joe gets diagnosed with a brain cloud. Um, what do you think about that? But doesn't get a second opinion, which right. is, it's everything that he's known already mm -hmm. that he doesn't feel well and it's just, I feel sick all the time and the doctor calls him a hypochondriac, doesn't go forward and Right. He, w he wanted this. Brain cloud. I knew it. Well, I, I didn't know it, but I knew it. Yes. The moment in the film um, that really stood out to me is, is actually my favorite shot. After he gets diagnosed with a brain cloud, he comes out of the doctor's office to the street, and the shot is two minutes and 14 seconds. Yeah. And I think it's a, just a great way to give him the space to really make his transition in his mind who he's gonna be, what he's gonna do. Mm -hmm. um, he hugs the Great Dane and then the woman that's walking him and just a great moment for me, just yeah. that space. And I feel like it's probably my favorite moment in the film for okay. sure. Clothes makes the man, I believe that. You say to me you wanna go shopping, you wanna buy clothes, but you don't know what kind. You leave that hanging in the air like I'm gonna fill in the blanks. Now that to me is like asking me who you are and I don't know who you are. I don't want to know. It's taken me all my life to find out who I am, and I am tired now. You hear what I'm saying? When Joe is asking him all these questions, like, well, what do you like? And tell me what you want. And he, he just flat out is like, this is your life. You need to figure it out. And how intense he gets about mm -hmm. what kind of clothes he should wear. And almost gets annoyed with the fact that Joe is even asking these questions. Well, every week we give our film of the week our special heart rating. Which is simple. Love or like. This is easy this week for me. I love this film. Yeah. I feel great. I second that. That's two. Joe, what, what would you give this? Uh, definitely love it. Definitely. Awesome. Yep. 
Smith's Cloud. Loved it. Loved it. May you live to be a thousand years old, sir. The simple. Wow. Well, that's another 40 for those two for of you two. keeping track at home. Two for two on episode two. Oh, there we go. Nice. Very exciting. Today, again, I also want to thank our special audience member, Dave, who's in the house. Yeah. Hi. Dave, have you seen Joe vs. Volcano? Sorry, guys. I missed <laughs> this one, too. I'm 0 for 2. <laughs> That's all right. What, what year did it come out? 19 Na 1990. <laughs> Must have been out to lunch. All right. <laughs> Pepper, sir? We are now going to hear from our sponsor, Flat Snack. Flat snack. So flat. Bum. Bum bum. Bum flicky ticky. Bum bum. Flat flicky ticky stack. Bum bum. Flat flicky ticky stack. Bum bum. Flat flicky ticky stack. Flat snack. Flat snack. Flat snack. Snack sent us some product to sample. They were nice enough. <laughs> so generous. Go check out flatsnack.com. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. You like it? Oh, yeah. Joe, for being our special guest today, we're going to send you home with a flat snack hat. Oh, nice. Flat snack hat. I'm excited. Yeah. Thanks for coming today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Little Mountain Print Shop? Where do I begin? 2010, I started in my basement. Uh, taught myself how to screen print. That was a uh, that was a trip. And uh, eight years later, I'm on 33rd and B Street, in the middle of Lincoln, Nebraska. Nice. So um, yeah, my last name Horacek means Little Mountain. That's kind of how I came about it. So. I actually thought that was another good connection with our movie, with yes. Joe versus the yeah. volcano, and we had the little little mountain that they had to climb at the <laughs> end. So, lots of nice connections there. So yes. there seem to be a lot of t-shirt companies out there. How have you been successful so far? Yeah, I, I would say just trying to stay true to kind of myself and my brand, and um, pushing my own envelope as far as like design creation, illustration. What about some of your inspirations? I try to kind of have like a collection is usually the route I like to go. Just so it has like some unity or formity to kind of my ideas. Uh, say for example, the Great Plains, mm -hmm. um, you know, mountains are huge. Yeah. Uh, travel, where I live, people I surround myself with. Yeah. It's nice to draw what you see and then wear it as well. Dude, yeah. yeah, and then when I see people wearing it, I'm like, that whole process of sketching and drawing it, uh, creating screens, being able to print it yourself, um, and then the reward is when someone buys it right. and you see them out in the public and I'm like, yep. I quit. That's that's <laughs> good. That's all I wanted to see, and yeah, it was it was it. That's really re rewarding. So people can find your products on your website. True story. Yep. Uh, LittleMountainPrint.com. Yeah, hot off the press, man. Uh, nice. Got a beaver and don't know what to name it. So. Okay. <laughs> Joe. Yes. Be Joe the Beaver. Joe the Beaver. Oh yeah. There we go. That is the one. <laughs> Thought you were asking me a question. <laughs> yes, that is my name. <laughs> How do you know my name? Oh, I know all about it. Much as I can learn 24 hours anyway. Eat it. Well, thank you, Joe, for joining us today. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me. And that does it for episode two of the Numbering Company show. Wherever you are, go watch a movie. Go watch a movie. Do it. Here, here.